The XCP consists of three parts, the bite block, the steel rod, and the ring attachment. For a periapical radiograph of a maxillary lateral incisor, one would need to use the blue anterior bite block, the rod that has a blue band, and the centered ring. Before attaching the bite block, a cotton roll should be secured with a rubber band to the bottom. This will make it easier for the patient when biting down. When attaching the ring, make sure that the bite block is centered. At this point, the XCP is ready for the size 1 phosphor plate. Before inserting the plate into the bite block, a sticker should be added to the side of the plate with the A on it. That edge of the plate goes towards the bottom of the bite block. This will increase the thickness of the plate to prevent it from moving in the bite block. When inserting the plate, make sure that the dark side is facing toward the ring and that the X is facing the bite block. Also, the plate should line up with the back of the bite block and be centered standing vertically. Put the thyroid collar around the patient's neck. Now the instrument is ready to be placed in the patient's mouth. The entire tooth must be in the radiograph, including the entire crown and apex. At least two millimeters of bone needs to be captured around the entire tooth. To do this, the plate should be parallel to the lateral incisor and centered, making sure that the whole tooth is in the shot. Have the patient bite down near the end of the bite block so that the plate is back in the mouth instead of right behind the tooth. Inform the patient to move as little as possible to prevent blurring of the image. Once your patient has bitten down, move the ring to approximately one inch from the patient's face to make sure the x-ray unit and make sure the x-ray unit is set on the anterior setting, adult or child, and on the computer. Now the x-ray unit is ready to be aligned with the XCP. To do so, the horizontal and vertical angle must be considered. For the horizontal angle, the PID should be lined up perpendicular to the facial surface of the lateral incisor. For the vertical angle, the x-ray unit should be pointed downward at a positive 20 degree angle. Having these two angles correct is necessary to obtain the desired image. The XCP makes doing this easy by allowing the operator to simply insert the PID into the grooves on the ring and make it parallel with the steel rod. The PID should be vertical to align with the phosphor plate. All of these angles will help us open the contact between the lateral and central incisors. Now the operator will step out of the room and push the button until the light and sound stop. Then proceed to remove the XCP from the patient's mouth. Dry off the phosphor plate with the tissue before placing it into the Dixie cup.